Normally, I try. I, I feel kind of disappointed in myself. I couldn't find any real holes. I couldn't find any. You had everything covered. Awesome. <laughs> and, 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 and like, We're like on fire. <laughs> Quick sound check. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Once you realize that health is the only thing that matters, everything else doesn't matter. What are synthetic ketones and why might people care about them? I didn't find on your website how much you're like how much milk or whatever you're supposed to put in. Twelve ounces. Twelve ounces. Yeah, okay. Twelve ounces an avocado. Okay. Uh, we like an avocado. Yeah. I was asking from a manufacturing standpoint. Yeah. Hundred percent. So how we do our cost is unit by unit. So every bag costs us X amount, and we fit in shipping costs, we fit in manufacturing costs with mistakes, we fit in ingredients, we fit in packaging, we fit in stickers, we fit in box. Hey. Hey, I just want to say I feel like I did have a chance to talk, but I feel like you sort of had to have a base level of knowledge when it comes to nutrition. Yeah. Thanks. Like Helio or Don, and I think like what you talked about, like the fat stuff, the ketogenic stuff. Yeah. If I had a chance, I would have been like, like it's awesome. Like I think you're doing really awesome. Like, Thank people you. People just don't, and it is the bleeding edge. It's like the ketogenic stuff. Is yeah. Like Tim Ferriss is doing. Like, yeah. So we're just spreading the word about it too. Like perfect. Because sure. I've been a human getting picked like all of it. Yeah. <laughs> so oh. it's like this is good, good stuff. All through coffee, all yeah. of that. Yeah. Like it's awesome. No so, doubt. Like, what was your name? Really good. Sarah. Sarah Benton. Yeah. Thanks so much. Awesome. Hit me up on Instagram or Facebook yeah, or whatever. I will, I, yeah. I you so thanks so much. All right. Thanks. Cheers, bro. Thank you, bro. Hey. Hi, my name's Hannah. I was just had a question um, yeah. about the keto diet yeah. and like the long term effects because I've had some friends who have done it. Yeah. And it's like when they do it, then they have a bounce back at the end. You know, yeah. like they do all this and then it's like their body goes in shock. So I'm like a little confused on why it's so great. Okay, so um, why it's so good is when you transition into burning ketones as fuel, it's a completely new metabolic state. So there, there are ketone-only pathways, there are glycogen-only pathways, and there are glucose-only pathways, and then there's whatever's available pathways, which is most of it. And if you can get the ketones into the whatever's available pathways, then that's why you feel so amazing, because you're burning your fat reserves, it's going straight to the brain, it's oxidizing slower, so you're storing muscle. Like, there's just a lot of benefits. I think the, the issue with like compliance per se is that it's like kind of difficult because like you see pizza or you see a muffin and it's like tempting but um so it's, it's kind of a strict thing. There's a, there's a diet called CKD, cyclical keto diet, that a lot of people follow. And that's kind of like keto five days a week, and then like we're partying and we're drinking and we're eating pizza on Saturday kind of thing. So it's just, there's no wrong way to do it. I think more than anything, I want to advocate people start eating more fat and take fat more seriously because it's not going to kill you. And if you want to go all the way to ketosis, mazel tov, but start adding more fat. Just nice to meet you, it. Nice yeah. to meet you. How do I buy some? Uh, Helio Duck today. Benson, um, nice to meet you, Amy. She started a keto a little bit herself. Awesome. So, so awesome. Like, so she, needs to, she needs to get on, on, on some Dawn. Awesome. Really How do you feel? Has it been painful? It's, well, yesterday I felt fuzzy. Okay. And I felt kind of, so I knew I was coming out of, which I didn't do a lot of toxic stuff before. No soda, didn't eat out, big burger king and that kind of stuff. I have PCOS. Okay. Um, oh, well, uh, insulin resistant ovaries. Okay. So that's, you know, I try to watch that. Yeah. But Today has been awesome. Like I Sweet. got up at 7:30 and I was ready to go. And normally I'm like sleep till 10. And I'm like, hey Max, sorry I didn't make it or yeah. whatever. So cool. Yeah. Well, uh, get in touch via Instagram, via him, whatever. Keep in touch. Let me know how I can help for real. Yeah. I'm like, like it's it's awesome to take people from six or seven to ten with our products. But I think even more rewarding is taking people that really like want it and need it and are working for it. And I'd love to help you. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. A good breakfast I'm get a and everybody needs. Okay. With social media, yeah. so. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. All my Facebook posts come from her. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right, Thanks, bro. Thank you. Well done, man. What's up? Okay, I'm still on school. Cool. And I've actually been in ketosis before. Cool. Um, and I've used it for like dieting purposes. Yeah. So I guess my question for you is how do you make it sustainable and turn it from a diet into a lifestyle? 
So it's simply about the foods you eat. And for me, I've just made it like Mark Zuckerberg wears a great t-shirt every day. Okay. There's no decision in it. Okay. I eat Dawn for breakfast, and I have a salad for lunch, and I have a salad for dinner. Cover them with olive oil, maybe some fish, maybe some nuts, maybe some berries. But like, it's easy. I enjoy the salads, and it works. If I ever get sick of one thing, I'll sub it out. But uh, turning it from a diet or like a, like a, a, a moment in time to a lifestyle is, I think, just some decisions around consistency. Okay. Keep after it. Nice to meet you. Stay in touch on Instagram. Is it scalable to where you hope to eventually be able to reduce the price, and, and like, or is this stuff that just costs a lot to begin with? Um, yeah, a little bit of both. Our cost is obviously higher now than it will be in scale, um, and we chose the price uh, strategically. Like, there's free ship. There's a lot of things that we aren't charging for. Okay. Free shipping, taxes right. included. Uh, 150 felt like a round. I want to do a round number. You know, it's like I kind of always reverse backwards from these ideas. It's like round number, easy to digest. Okay, how about 150 bucks? 100's too low, we can't pull it off. I was just Let's curious, do like seven, I do it on a per meal basis. Yeah. I'm like, man, I don't, yeah. if I'm making breakfast at home by myself, right. 50 meals a lot, right? right. right. But Eggs are is that 50 something cents. that you hope to get down to expand later on? So that's a limiting factor what this itself, gentleman right? over here asked about affiliate marketing and things like that, that's the industry that I've been in forever. Yeah. And so how I view that is in a capitalist manner of universal basic income, where if we can just compensate referrals, because everybody has influence. So how can we compensate referrals at the highest level with the least amount of work? So what if we rolled up a system that was three and you're free? So it's like, yeah, you gotta spend 150 bucks this month, but you got your brother, your homie, and your friend that you work out with that would all do it too. So, and yeah. then by bringing us three customers, we're spending, giving you 50 bucks a head, and all of a sudden it's become free. I so see. that's the long-term plan because we understand that it's a luxury item right now. So the initial slug out of, Luxury item, customer only, with no real ask after that, is 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 more of a challenge than in six months when I can say it's Delvin, right? Yeah. Hey, Delvin, call your brother, your friend, and your homie, and get this shit for free in two weeks. And uh, in terms of the ketogenic diet, yeah. um, is there any evidence? I just well, talked to a friend the other day yeah. uh, about kidney stones in certain people yeah. with it, yeah. and how do you avoid that? Okay, so because um, I, I think I may I tried a no carb, no sugar diet for like nine months a long time ago, and I yeah. got kidney stones. So. Interesting. So um, interesting. So. Um, our liver is so swollen that it's actually, if you look at the human biology now, it's charted where the kidneys are at uneven levels. The liver is so swollen that the right has sagged, and that's why all kidney stones happen on the right side. And so it's, uh, it's a fa my understanding of it, and I'm not a doctor, but my understanding of kidney stones is that the liver is so toxic and the pancreas is working so hard, and thus the ketone, or the, um, uh, kidneys are so inflamed that they're just overworked and they're not breaking everything down yeah. to a fine enough mesh and that's what a kidney stone is. So it's going backwards three steps. It's like I said, it's not the symptom, yeah. it's finding the cause and the cause of that is potentially a toxic liver. So simultaneously cut carbs and do a liver kind of cleanse. Milk, thistle, yeah. beet juice, um, noni flour, no, or noni I'll fruit. Yeah, so sure. cleansing the liver, the liver has 500 jobs. The liver does all sorts of things from making ketones to regulating the kidneys. And uh, so I would, I, that's my assumption on kidney stones is that it's actually the liver's fault for sagging the kidney, which is why they all happen on the right side because the liver's in the way. I'll check that out. Yeah, I'll, uh, yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate Stay in touch on Instagram yeah, or Facebook. Time, Good to meet you, man. Good to meet you. Before I get out of here, that yeah, was dope, bro. man. Thank you. See Thank you. you. Thank you. Yo, I'm going to have to buy some. Cool. Holler at us. Yeah, we'll set you guys up. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thanks, bro. Oh man, look, hey, people in already came up to me like, hey yeah. man, you yeah, you should be like, he should endorse you or something yeah. with that love. We so, should, I'm we like, should, we should. Hey, you had a little standing applause. Yeah, that, for, real. for real, for hey, real. What's up, man? My name's Jorge. Hey, uh, Benton. You know, when you mentioned the cock stuff and stuff, yeah. you know, that's probably great. And yeah. I think why, so, you know it's a lifestyle, right? Yeah. And this is complete lifestyle. Yeah. But when you go to coffee shops, yeah. people, a lot of us go up expecting you know you drink coffee and you want something healthy in the morning. Right. Most of us miss breakfast, especially when you have a busy life. You right. Know? Right. Uh, but what do you see at the coffee shop? You know, you see like Acid yogurts and with yogurt honey and pastries and, and stuff, donuts. Pastries and yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Um, which coffee shops most of them concentrate on something lighter because it's morning. And uh -huh. So uh, I think it's great. But how do you think that works um, when someone comes to order that? Maybe I mean, is it made? It would, it would be made fresh, so it would be um, my perfect recipe is half an avocado, 12 ounces of coconut milk, so the barista would just half an avo, 12 ounces of coconut milk, one packet of Dawn, blend it up, it's thick, pour it in a bowl, and then they've got some smooth, hey, what toppings do you want? Okay, I want chia, 
uh, walnuts and goji berries. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. So Here you go. Variety of things you can do to on top, yeah. And you know, a smoothie, uh, and and just a smoothie like just itself, an avocado milk and drink out of the cup. That works too. So. So if you were to pour that straight out of. So is it blended or is it just mixed? Or yeah. How yeah. Does that work? Um, so you just blend it. Yeah, blend a blender, it. tabletop blender would be perfect. Blend. <laughs> Thanks. Absolutely. Yeah. Anything I missed? No, man. Um, I think the, the education part is going to be the, the yeah. biggest thing. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I know all about it. I love it. Yeah. But, you know, that's going to be the hardest message just to get like kind of a foreign language to a lot of people. Totally. Um, I think one of the things that we should start doing with content is like real education, yeah. like putting out it like this was why this was effective. I think it's because we like really labored over how do we educate, yeah. you know, and then provide a solution. Yeah, yeah. And so it's like if we can create content no, on an ongoing basis that is just education, that education, perfect. education. Perfect. Yeah. Here's why olive oil on your salad is good. Yeah. Single topics yeah. that people can like, like we can just continue yeah. punching and Absolutely. people yeah, yeah, people will get it eventually. That was a, that was a great like, transition into the, the whole product. So yeah, cool, Just a cool, bit man. Of education. So yeah, yeah, love it. I'm feeling good. That was an awesome day. Let's wrap up the one million cups segment here, Courtney. One million cups community. You guys are awesome. Come every Wednesday, and you know presentations will be good. I can't necessarily guarantee that they're as good as ours, but I'm joking. Thanks for having us. Whatever happens next will happen next. <laughs>